especially because we can concentrate nutrients in small quantities. That's the, the main aspect of nutritional density. We don't have many calories, but we have a good concentration of protein, fat, sugar, very well balanced. So if in 100 or 200 milliliters of a product, we can have almost a third of calcium content, and even sometimes we can have half of the calcium content and half of the vitamin D nutrients. It's important to increase the amount of calcium because the majority of our population are below the recommendations for calcium and vitamin D. So I think we have to have alternatives. Yogurt is a very important one because it's part of our nutritional habits all over the centuries. In many civilizations, we have similar products like yogurt in different cultures, uh, not only as a medicine, but also as a good product for your health, a general claim for that. And so it's also a part of a way to increase the daily intake of dairy products. We are in what we consider a nutritional transition situation. We have to cope with both situations. Uh, obesity together with malnutrition and sometimes both together. So we are in the middle of the transitional period. Yogurt is very interesting to us because it's something that they can afford, it's not very expensive and it's something that they can stand. So they can increase their nutritional habits using a product without any clinical problems.